Hello, and welcome back to Step by Step, episode number 76, Project Ozone 3. Today, we're going to go back to doing some Ember stuff, and hopefully we don't get blown up by a mysterious creeper who I still don't know how it spawned, but oh well. So, yeah, let's hop back in our codex. Uh, still nothing special. We can make an Ember bore. the dials, uh, was I think what we were looking at. So let's make some dials real quick, I guess. Dials, or just dial, ember dial. We need a copper plate, so we just need. Wait, right, can I not? Just straight up. Oh, I need a. I need to make a stamper. Okay, let's make a stamper real quick. Wait, double check. Is anything over here a stamper? I don't think it is, but let me double check. Melter, melter. Oh, oh, I accidentally tried to melt my apples, I guess. Okay, no, we don't have a stamper. So let's grab ourselves a stamper. That's probably an achievement. No? Okay, I'm a little surprised by that, not gonna lie. Nope, that's not what I was trying to do. Can I... Okay. So I think if I put a... I need to make a plate stamp and then molten copper in there. Raw plate stamp, which is from Kamenite Blend. Do we have Kamenite Blend? Kamenite Blend, we do. One, two, three, four. Raw plate stamp, let's toss this in our super, super fast zenith furnace. Oh, it got pumped out to this chest, I forgot. Okay, so we do that, right? I don't know how this works. I shouldn't have just jumped ahead. Uh, a tinker's lens. How many tools have you with mechanical cores? What if I just mark that? Okay, nothing happens if I mark that as complete. Things happen if I mark that as complete. Pipes are whole. Nope, never mind. Nothing. Nothing. I don't think I'm gonna either really need either of those, so we'll leave that for now. Diggy diggy hole. Bed rake may blah 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 blah. The ember board must be filled with normal farmers tool, but with the, with the plates, the boards can touch bedrock. When filled, the board will drag up ember crystals from deeper into the earth for your future use. Okay, so I need the bore, where the blades of the board can touch bedrock. Okay, so let's make let's make an ember board, because I think then I need to go, I guess I'll just go into the nether. I don't know if I, I don't know if bedrock is the thing here, or, uh, or what the official thing is. I need mechanical core. I need a lead plate, so I need a stamper. Or just a crushing table. Or hydraulic press, or a cast, or a compactor, metal presser. Blah, 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 blah. Let's make a crushing table real quick. That might be an achievement, who knows. Okay, and then let me grab, I guess, a bit of lead. Nope, lead. Letting it. And then. Maybe a magnetic craft hammer. Wait, let's just see. We go to the plate, we go to the crushing table. Crushing table doesn't really tell me how it's used. So, hammer, dive, a magnetic craft hammer. I don't. Let's look up. Hammer. Magnetic craft. This is the problem where I'm playing with mods that I don't know how to use, and the only one I do know how to use isn't going to work. Steel hammer. I don't have steel. Iron hammer. Let's go with iron hammer. There we go. Okay. Had to right click. Okay, let's go back to ember core. Nope, not the core. Ember bore, silly me. But I need a mechanical core. I don't have a compass. Let's make a compass. There's a compass. I could have sworn I would have had a compass, but weird. Mechanical core. I need Kamenite stairs. I need Kamenite bricks. This is the part I'm running into trouble with, isn't it? Because I don't think I have enough Kamenite. Is there a better way to get Kamenite? Kamenite blends, which is just, oh, clay and sand. I can do that easy peasy. There. 
I wasted all my clay, but I think I'm going to need a lot of this tamanite stuff, so it's fine. And there we go. Okay. There we have, never mind. We have a, a bunch of tamanite bricks now. We're not in any, any worry for making a bunch of stairs. Ember bore. Okay. Yay, ember excavation. I can't, okay, let's. I don't know how I've collected things. Gamma. Gamma is what we're working. So, ancient codex. Don't just tell me the ancient codex with all the information. I want to read it from you, baby girl. Uh, okay, let's make dials and pipes just real quick, just because a bunch of achievements. And I know how to make. I know how to make a, a, a copper, copper thingamajigger real quick. Ember dial, ember dial. Achievement. Achievement, please. Please, achievement. I need a fluid dial. What do I need for fluid dial? Iron, okay. Wouldn't you know it, I have all the iron in the world, which is true because there is no one else in this world but me, so I do own all of the iron. Okay, let's make ourselves a fluid dial. It's like a toted dial, but not as cool. Let's make. Oh, that's too many pipes. Not gonna do that. Solid ember. Ember shard and ember crystals are what I need. Okay. So the ember bore. Let's let's read because I don't want to be dumb. While bedrock may, may halt your downward advances, it will not halt your machines. The ember bore must be filled with normal furnace fuel items and must be placed at a position where the blades of the bore can touch bedrock. When fueled, the bore will dig up ember crystals from deeper into the earth for your future use. Hoppers and other atom transporters may be used used to extract and insert fuel and crystals from the bore. So I think if I just grab like a stack of coal blocks and then maybe, do I have a hopper? I do have a hopper. And then a chest. The problem is I don't know how it plans for me to extract other than its specific pipes. Also, we're gonna go to the nether so I can show off the, uh, the new nether that we now have. I don't think I showed it off before. Maybe I did. I do not recall. Let's get this ember bore going, and then we'll we'll call it an episode. Seven. So yeah, very frost icy nether rack, and there was some like nether ice. Don't ask me how that works, but it does. Like hop all the way down here. Still got some liquid mag liquid magma. That's not what it's called. It's called mag magma blocks. Whatever. And it's not liquid. It's it's solid. Oh well. So we're gonna do that. Oh my. Oh lord. Okay, so I think I just straight up need a hopper. I mean, it sounds like it's working. But... Why does nothing have a UI? Why can't I ever just read what it is I'm doing? Yeah, this doesn't really help. Is it just gonna spit it out? Apologies for the phone buzz. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, I guess I missed a bit of grains and infinity. It's okay. Okay. BRB for one second until this bad boy either spits out a crystal or I figure out how this works. BRB. So I think I read the problem. One of the main problems is... Oh. Never mind, it was working. I wasn't getting anything out of it, but it was working. Um, I didn't get in... Wait, ember crystals. Though. I'd have to make that. Uh, so one of the things was I should play it... Place it one block higher... And then, I'm just gonna grab, oh, that's not a block of nether, that's not gonna go away. Cool. I should place it one block higher, and then I also need a, I think another mechanical core that I made. And then from there, I can use something called machine accessors to then also use uh, embers pipes to pipe in and out the different things. So let me say BRB one more time while I get everything that's necessary. Um, I'm going to craft some pipes which are going to give me an achievement. You guys are going to miss that, but that's okay. 
so B R B. Okay, so I'm back. I've got what I need. I've got an M4, uh, four machine accessories, one mechanical core, uh, some item pipes, and an item extractor. I realized I might have needed another item extractor, but that's okay. I don't care. So I think. Oh wait, I have to place it on a down block. Okay, so I think this is the way I was technically supposed to do it because then you can see those giant fan blades underneath but I think my way was also working too so we put a mechanical core on top and we put item ex accessors or uh, machine accessors on the outside and we put an item extractor here um, and then a chest there and I think that'll Oh, that might also, I don't have an axe, oops, oh well. Uh, actually, I think if I do pipe there, and then chest there, that'll give us the ember shards and ember grit, and then maybe I can just do hopper there and that'll work, let's see. Yep, okay, so it's working now, we're gonna wait a second to double check. I also didn't get the achievement for the pipes because I didn't make the fluid pipes or the item dropper. Um, but we're going to wait here for just a second and see if that does actually work. And hopefully we'll get an ember crystal. Or we'll have enough uh, ember shards to get an ember crystal. And then after this I'm going to go take my physics test in about 40 minutes. Come on, I want to make sure you're working. Please, 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 ember shard, ember grits. This has an EMC value, this does not. What do I use an ember group specifically for? Besides smelting. Alchemy. Cool. Any day now. Gave you an item extractor. Come on. Oh, that is some thunder outside. I should probably get walking if this will hurry up. Okay. We're gonna break it and just see if maybe my item extracting isn't working. Okay, right let's just read let's read the ancient codex first. Pipes. One of the simplest mechanisms for your means uh iron pipes. Well lead pipes for items. Uh, pipes can only insert to things or anything like that to extract you must craft a corresponding pump place it. Okay, power items and fluids and power must fall simple the rule, pop out and insert the wall was prior to prioritize the opposite exit. Um, pipes will automatically connect to other adjacent pipes. Oh, extractions have a number of certain properties lift off. They will never connect to other. Food when you turn off, they can receive items instead of only turn They will never accept items from pipes. That's just useful value in pipes. I do not want to use Tinker's hammer and use this connect down. Don't mind this stick. Okay, it's not seeming to give what I want, so let me break it again. It does give me more ember shards, but also, just for the sake of curiosity, if I just throw it and make it go again. Okay, so it appears that it is, it is making ember shards, but I guess I'm just not extracting it correctly. Or maybe these machine accessors don't work the way I thought they did, but I gotta go take a test in a second, so I'm gonna call that an episode for now. Uh, if you enjoyed today's weird episode, I'm pretty sure we did a good achievement today, uh, weird episode of Step by Step episode 76, then thank you for enjoying, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye-bye!